Thank you for watching this video, Energy Strategy in Brazil. I am a consulting partner at Interact Limited, an energy consulting company based in Sao Paulo, Brazil, have already contracted more than $600 million in power contracts for industrial, commercial and institutional energy users, was awarded in Brazil and in the US, am very experienced with power projects and energy efficiency projects, am a speaker and an author in Brazil and in the US, and Prior to Interact, I was the CEO for LTEC, a major uh, electric power connector uh, manufacturing company, where I began my career as an electrical engineer in 1976. Let's take my own home as an example. My wife and I live in the Sao Paulo city area, and when we moved in, we had all the typical electrical appliances, and we installed an electric boiler to uh, heat the water. What was our problem? Actually, soon we discovered that we were facing about 200 hours per year of unplanned power interruptions. And so this caused major problems at home. The first one, because our home offices would not work properly. The second point is with respect to entertainment. Of course, we were not in a position to watch TV and films when there was a power outage. And most importantly, no internet access. With power interruptions, spoiled food became a problem and a cost and the good side effect that we used to have many romantic dinners. What were then our energy sources? Of course, we have the sun, we have power from the local utility company which is charged at roughly $180 per megawatt hour or almost two cents per kilowatt hour and LNG is in a rough number $120 per megawatt hour. We decided to install an LNG heater. So right now we have both heaters, one electric heater and one LNG. So we are able to decide what heater we would like to operate in every specific month given the ongoing costs for LNG and for electric power from the local utility company. We were facing 200 hours per year of unplanned interruptions. Sometimes we face about 24 to 40 hours interruptions and frequently it's about three to five hours. So we um, came up with a gasoline genset and the variable cost of this genset is about $600 per year if we are considering 200 hours per year of uh, power production. And this equates to something like $3 per each kilowatt hour delivered by this genset. Conceptually speaking, it's about a decision-making process. What we did is shown here in this slide. First, we were able to collect energy-related information. Then we identified what we call the boundary conditions. So what were our most important demands, so to speak. Then we crafted a number of options to face our challenges. And then we went to the market to check for prices and then we decided what to do. This slide shows the four most important options we came up with and uh, here it goes. The, the first option was using the sun because it's free potentially. 
we would have to invest two thousand dollars to heat the water and displace the uh, existing electric heater the second option was using a pv package that would produce all the electric power that we were consuming at home during the day for eleven thousand dollars installed the third option was um, buying a gasoline gen set and the installed cost was about fourteen hundred dollars and the last option was um, considering uh, LNG um, water heater for thirteen hundred dollars installed cost again what was the reasoning the Sun options were basically to reduce the ut utility power bill the gen set to avoid losses we, we already discussed about spoiled food about our home offices and so this would be a very important factor for us and the LNG heater was very interesting since the very beginning because uh, not only we were able to somehow arbitrate LNG and power costs but also as our study showed we were able to reduce the size of the gasoline gen set because when we were facing an interruption of the power supply from the local utility company if we had the LNG heater we would not have to produce power by the gen set to uh, uh, connect the electric heater so the operational and maintenance costs were also studied and the sun options were basically negligible the gen the gen set of course is a lot higher six hundred dollars per year because of the fuel and the maintenance and the lng heater uh, demands something like sixty dollars per year for maintenance so when we studied the simple payback for each of the options uh, we finally arrived at the, uh, the following conclusions the um, solar water here was uh, 13 years the PV panel eight years and the gen set a few months as well as the LNG because the cost the avoided cost by the gen set was very important and here it should be pointed out that the PV um, solution was not able to handle outages during the night of course so back then we decided to go for the gen set and for the LNG water heater time has shown that we made the right decisions because our home offices are always up and running no spoiled food and at any given time we are always minimizing the power and gas bills it's very important to to talk about the human factor each neighbor in our area has a different assumption it means that uh, from an energy perspective each of them will for sure have a different solution but what i can tell you for sure is that our home has become a hotspot when it comes to the wi-fi availability so when there is a power interruption some of our neighbors come by to make sure that they are able to access the internet in the same token we can say that for the corporate world it's about the same decision making process it's about gathering information about energy use about what the upper management uh, is interested when it comes to energy and it's about visiting the local operations and then it's about checking market conditions uh, 
scenarios and boundary conditions. And then, of course, we are able to come up with energy-related options in several areas like energy efficiency, on-site power projects, contracting arrangements and energy sources. So, at this point in time, we are able to craft a number of alternatives so that the upper management and the board, and I'm talking about the client now, is able to come up with a consistent and defensible uh, decision. The decision-making process involves at least four very important aspects. The first one is technical, financial and management issues that should be very carefully addressed when we come up with options. The second aspect is about time frame, especially in Brazil. It means that usually the client is very concerned about duration of contracts. Uh, typically in Brazil, you can see a number of industrial and commercial and institutional energy users looking for short-term solutions because they are terribly afraid of the long term in Brazil. Others are quite happy to go for the long term, so this makes a huge difference when we are crafting solutions and, and going for decisions. The third aspect is about risks, perception and mitigating tools. And finally, it's very important for the client to have outside experts to help the client throughout the whole process. We have prepared a full video course about energy strategy for industrial, commercial and the service sectors. And it's about nine most important uh, aspects. The first one is about the energy markets in Brazil. The second is about technical, financial and management issues, always energy related, current and future energy use from the client's perspective and how this impacts in the decisions that the client will take right now, energy efficiency, energy sources that might be considered, on-site power projects and by that I mean uh, generation, cogeneration and high voltage access, deregulated options, conventional and structured options, internal rate of return calculation considering the Brazilian conditions, how to request a proposal before the market, how to go for the decision-making process and how to negotiate the contracts uh, for the selected options. Make sure to request your video energy strategy by sending an email to rafael at interactenergia.com.br or if you would like to call me, please feel free to access my mobile number or even using my Skype address. Thank you very much and look forward to hearing from you.